search functionality test scenarios in order to test the search functionality we need to enter something like a name of a product any place or say anything that you are searching for in other words it must be a valid search term means we need to enter a word that makes sense right for example let's say i'm looking for some courses on software testing while searching for it i must type in the correct word to get the right responses from the search so i must write the test scenario as verify search for a valid term or a valid category repeat the test few times for example say 10 times at least The next search functionality that we must test is to test the field by entering invalid search term. Invalid search term could be anything that are not applicable to test on that particular platform. Say for example, if you are testing some e-commerce website, then you must search for some products that this business provides, but you cannot search for these same products on some learning website because their business does not allow this. Hence, consider as invalid search term right search functionality responses must be different for different platforms for example learning platforms search results would be different from any e-commerce website or any other social media platforms all different platforms have different search functionality based on their businesses and hence the results would be different of course I will show you some real examples while searching on Google. As we know, Google is a popular search engine that allows users to find information on almost any topic. It is a powerful tool that can be used to research products, people, places and more. Just type in anything for example A or Apple or any course like software testing, coding etc and see what it shows. As soon as I entered the term software testing it displayed me the auto generated terms related to my search term in the drop down menu right so the next test scenario we may write it as verify that the search results display the auto suggested keywords based on the user's input and that the keywords are relevant to the search topic After entering the word software testing whatever results it displays is related exactly to the topic or say the search term and this is the expected behavior if the results does not match with the search topic then that's an error or a bug as you see it displayed some relevant links related to my search term and the definition of software testing so this is what is expected and is the right behavior of the application right We also need to test the search field using multiple search terms which are valid and see the results. Let's now verify that the search functionality works correctly when multiple search terms are used. Multiple search terms are when you enter more than one word or phrase in the search box to find more specific or relevant results. For example, if you want to find courses on Udemy that teach Python programming, you can enter Python courses as your search term. This will show you all the courses that have the words Python and courses in their title, description or keywords. You can also use quotation marks to find exact matches of phrases or words. For example, if you want to find courses that teach Python for data science, you can enter Python for data science as your search term. This will show you courses that have the exact phrase Python for data science in their title, description or keywords. Imagine you are looking for information on the internet like finding a book in a library. When you search for something online different websites show you results based on their own rules for example if you search for software testing on google and click a link to udemy an online learning platform google show you popular courses related to that topic but when you directly search for software testing on udemy website you will see a lot more results around 10000 courses these results might be sorted differently like showing best sellers first so 
the same search topic can give you different results depending on where you start your search it's like finding different books in different sections of the library each website has its own way of organizing and showing information next what if someone using a different language for his search? This is also called a localization testing, where people use different languages for search. Localization testing is a process that ensures software or content is suitable for a specific locale or region. This involves verifying that the product functions correctly with the language, cultural norms and other regional settings of the target audience. For example, Udemy is a learning website that offers thousands of courses in multiple languages. When you enter a search term in a different language, the search Search engine should be able to understand the language and easily translate the term into English and display the results accordingly. So the next test scenario is verify search functionality by entering a search term or a category in different languages and verify that the results are displayed in the selected learning language. This is also called localization search. Next. Verify search feature with invalid keywords and see if the results are relevant and accurate. Invalid keywords are the ones that do not match the expected format, content or context of the search functionality. For example, some of the invalid keywords are HTML tags, SQL injection, empty strings, special characters, unrelated terms that are not relevant to the platform. These keywords are invalid because they either cause errors, return no results or return irrelevant results. To test the search feature with invalid keywords, you need to enter them in the search box and verify that the search functionality handles them properly. As an example, you can check that if the search functionality displays a message, please enter a valid keyword when the user enters HTML tags, SQL injection or special characters. The search functionality displays a message, please enter a keyword when the user enters an empty string. The search functionality displays a message, no results found when the user enters an unrelated term. Next, verify that the search box redirects the user to the search results page when the user presses the enter key or clicks on the search button after entering the input. Also, depending on the search features on the Udemy website, for example, verify that the search results page allows the user to filter the results by categories, subcategories, ratings, languages, levels, prices, etc. and displays the filtered results accordingly. Next, verify by entering a valid search term with wrong spelling. For example, enter testing instead of testing or enter pthon instead of python and see the results. Note, make sure to repeat the same tests by entering different search terms or categories at least 10 to 15 times. As soon as I typed testing on Google to search, it displayed a drop-down menu where it suggested me the lists that matches the word right along with the correct word testing. So this is what is the expected behavior and looks right. Now I'll simply enter the misspelled word and you see it asked me whether I meant testing with the correct spelling. So this is what we need to check the responses when we test the search box responsiveness to the user's input. Right? Whereas when I entered the same misspelled term testing on Udemy, it showed me 10,000 results for testing and suggested an auto correction. It says showing results for testing. Search instead of testing. Right? So this is the correct behavior of the application. These are a few important test scenarios for the search functionality that I wanted to share. But these are not the only ones I must say. In order to keep my video short, I am stopping here now. My next upload will be coming soon. 
like share and subscribe press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads thank you for watching